any surprise uh, Josh Thompson lost like that? Yeah, man, it was uh, it was tough. You know, I mean, he the the most unlucky guy that night was me. You know, I wanted that fight with Josh Thompson. Josh Thompson's a guy that I dislike. You know, I haven't really disliked too many guys in this sport. I dislike that guy. Um, if I see him, I'm going to have some choice words for him. You know, it, it was just uh, it was a bad decision on his point to take the fight and fight a guy with power like that, and he put himself in the fire. You know, he, he was offered a title shot. He didn't take the title shot. So realistically, even if he would have won the title fight, or even if he would have won that fight, I wouldn't have even wanted to give him the title shot because once you turn down the title shot, you're not the number one contender anymore. So all I can do is move forward. All I can do is practice patience. All I can do is is uh, keep knocking them down. As, as Bellator keeps bringing them in and, and signing new guys and putting guys, new guys up, I'm going to keep knocking them down and I'm going to keep solidify, solidifying myself as one of the top lightweights in the world. So who is next for you now? I mean, it's kind of a weird situation now. Yeah, it's a little weird. I mean, there's no... Uh, no, no definite name out there yet. You know, there's a couple guys that, that are kind of in the hat, and uh, you know, we'll see. But uh, all, all I know is I'm the best that I've ever been. You know, and I've uh, continued to, to uh, continue the evolution of my ground game with Neil Melanson and continue the evolution of my striking with, with Henry Hoof. So, you know, I'm, I'm in a great position. I feel like the best I've ever been. I'm the biggest, fastest, strongest I've ever been here at 30, 30 years old, almost 31 now. So, whoever it is, um, I'm excited to go out there and compete.